USA men of quality are not threatened by women of equality. So I'm glad to see women and men and children here together. Yesterday we elected a very prejudiced and provocative person to be the President of the United States. It is more important than ever that we come together. It is more important than ever that we come together as Californians and as Americans to fight for the rights of all. The truth is this country is about equal opportunity for all. It is about truth, justice, and the American way. What is truth? That all are created equal. Whatever race, whatever their immigration status, however they came here, it is about LGBT rights for all. And it is about every person's right to have a great education in the state of California. What is truth? The truth is we must stand together for the future. The reality is we have a president that read Mein Kampf from cover to cover and used to read Hitler's speeches at night. We must worry about this country. But let me tell you something. If I gave you 25 pencils one at a time, most of the people on this plaza could break them. But if I give you 25 pencils together, the strongest person here can't break them. We must be together, not just today, but tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and next week and next month and next year. Because we cannot allow thuggery. We cannot allow bigotry. We cannot allow misogyny. We cannot allow the kind of behavior that we have seen exemplified. We cannot have, we cannot have a Secretary of Education who says every state ought to decide who gets special education. That is un-American. She said we should be able to give money to private for Religious schools. Well, let me just tell you, 37 states have constitutions that deny that right. You cannot give religious schools money in the state of California and in 36 other states. Yeah. Worse than that, she, she, today the President of the United States has removed the Title IX direction on assaults of women at our college campuses. Assaults of anybody at our college campuses. Yesterday, one of the first orders that the president signed was an order repealing something Obama had done just in the last couple of weeks to make it possible for more poor people to buy their first homes. For heaven's sakes, he's doing the opposite of what he said. And that is why it is important we are here today together. Because at the end of the day, I'm, I will tell you truth, justice, and the American way. What is the American way? It is a great education for every person. It is affordable housing for every family. It is a clean environment. The president has removed comments about the environment from the website of the president, as well as talk of civil rights. But that doesn't mean we don't have a climate change, and it doesn't mean we still believe in civil rights, because we do. The American way is about opportunity, and we must stand together for opportunity for all. And we must, we must stand up for one another each and every day as we go forward. I will just say to you, I love this state. I'm still California dreaming. How about you? Let's keep California dreaming about truth and justice and liberty for all. And for heaven's sakes, let us dream about the future, from preschool to graduate school. It's time to make preschool universally available in the state of California. It's time, you'll be shocked to hear this, some of you know, but some of you don't. Did you know kindergarten isn't mandatory? It should be, and it should be full day. And we shouldn't be in the bottom ten in investment in kids' education. So whatever the federal government does, California ought to be fighting for free higher education for the students of this state. So at the end of the day, keep California dreaming. Keep being the model for the state of California. 
keep being East Bay proud, Oakland proud. My parents met in 1942 at Jack London Square, so I wanted to be here today with you. God bless you all. God bless America. God bless